Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js SQLize. Today we are going to learn about the connection pool node with the SQLize. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. If you are connecting to the database from a single process, you should create only one SQLize instance. SQLize will set up a connection pool on initialization. This connection pool can be configured through the constructors options. So here we have the options. So host dialog and here we have a pool option. Okay. So here we maximum number of connections in the pool. So how many connections you want to exist the maximum connections minimum number of connections in the pool that uh, this minimum acquired maximum time in milliseconds that the connection can be acquired idle state maximum time in milliseconds that a connection can be idle before being released so this is the pool parameters that you can pass like how many number of connections in the pool minimum number of connections in the pool will exist okay and uh, to close the connection pool just you need to mention that the sequelize dot close so it will connect uh, it will close the connection pool and uh, if any error occurs then it will throw the error so whenever you have a connection multiple so it will says that um, maximum number of connection pool allowed this one so in that case it will help on that note okay so how many connections you want to create with that instance so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day